tournament. We have to remember that we are on patch 4.4. Patch 4.4a will have to wait for another week. Yeah, and that is when Crown will be nerfed. And that is when we'll see <laughs> if this everything would change. Are we going to go back to show ADC just because of that nerf that's going to come in? Because so far, all of the AP champions have been building up the Crown of the Shadowed Queen as first items. Now, yep. Zeri is going to be free and X has a chance to pick the Kai'Sa. Yeah, this OMG lineup, very late game centric. Sure, uh, you have the Kai'Sa, then you also have the Zeri. But if you think about it, the balance of their composition really revolves around the playmaking of White Cat and a Huawa. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is a possibility for them to at least still get a stabilizing pick. I wonder if they will go for some early game uh, jungler in like the Xinjiang. Tristana. Yeah. I mean, that's an X excellent pick. <laughs> yeah. Picking up the Dressana, what I like oh, about this is, this is the stabilizer that they're gonna need here. Having the early game to mid game, that is when Dressana struggles a lot, then goes back to the late game. So yep. at least they have someone to deal damage in the early game. So J Team has a way, way better composition here, just so they could let the Vladimir let loose in the late game. What's the jungler for OMG is the question. Oh. Oh, this oh, is better. better. This is better. That's this is better. better. Yeah. Because I was wondering. With the, with the composition that they have, they need to find someone that will be able to influence the early game, right? And not the yeah. Nilas that we have been seeing. <laughs> Yesterday. And there's yeah. a lot of champions uh, that was banned away in the jungle, right? Evelyn has been banned away, Kha'Zix, uh, Lee Sin, and of course, you know, the Hec Hecarim and the Fiddlesticks is no not going to see the Day of Light. Uh, and so now MG is going back to their patent bully bear. I'm going to check my records as to if that was already picked before, because I remember there was a team that picked the volley bear, and yes, it was Indian that picked the volley. Mm hmm. And what I like about the volley bear, even though volley bear hasn't been meta for a while now, after the season, after season one. What I love about the Volley Bear is the pot most of the time, whenever you're fighting during the early game to the mid game parts of the game, Volley Bear is going to be winning a 1v1 for sure, just because of the amount of sustain he has. And his early game potential to go for safe dives is what makes him deadly. Yep, there you go. You The ultimate. Love to see it, right? Although it's not that long in terms of duration, and there are other mm. ways to really tower juggle. Um, it still is a very good arsenal to have, especially in competitive scenario. As we go over to game number one, OMG versus JT. Game one for this long day. And we're gonna see the CN Conference flex their muscles against each other. And will they get their first loss here? OMG, will they be stopped or would J Team go back? and be able to carry on or get away from that slump. Yeah, Record-wise, OMG is the favorite. They have a 2-0 record. Meanwhile, J-Team won to 2. And they want to improve back to uh, 500. I believe it is very doable, especially with Soldier on the Vladimir. He's always been so stellar whenever I see him on this champion. There were times in where his Vladimir was zoning 2-3 people. And that's the quality yep. of uh, a mid laner that you want to have, especially in the, the highest level of playing, competitive. Yeah, and most of the time, a lot of the teams in the CN Conference, they always have this a big star player in the mid lane, like, you know, Z, you know, and a 9 <laughs> in the mid lane. And yep. that is in the form of Soldier here on the side Ooh. of G-Team. And Soldier could definitely be able to do that. Ah, oh, interesting. Using the pool and doesn't mind the self-inflicted damage. Just goes over and uses the pool uh, to get more priority in the mid lane. That's it, It's not often that I see it, right? I haven't really yeah. studied the ma matchup of Vladimir's that well. All I know is that oftentimes, you know, you use the pool, at, uh, you level up the pool at level 3, not at level 2. That is true. And whenever you have this matchup in the mid lane, the Vladimir versus the Kassadin, it is expected that they're going to be staying like this for so long. But what oh. I'm liking for J Team is that Inyan has to wow. help him out. Four people are going to jump in. The slows are going to come out. SMK, what a great help out Wait. right there. DY is going to be flashing in with Ignite. Is Inyan going to be dead here? Oh, yes, he is. First blood for DY. We were just reminded as to how busted DY is on the grass yeah. once again. Oh. Oh, he got it! Okay. Okay. <laughs> that, was a, that was a successful steal by you. 
<laughs> yeah, unfortunate, but still, the better end of the trade was definitely on uh, JT side. So after getting priority, not just on one lane, they got the priority on bot lane and on the mid lane. There to finish the job is DY. Yeah, a bit too late for the side of OMG to go for the rotation. JT was at the ready. They were looking to really shake up the map for that volley bear because uh -huh. they know that in the early games, the Stormbringer is not available. Inyan is just very vulnerable at this point. Yep, and as he has a very awkward item right now. Sheen as his first item, not really the best. Right, um, especially knowing that um, his early game struggles, the Foley Barrier's early game struggles, uh, was magnified by this Vi of CF17. Yeah, and for now, J Team is just gonna be Getting safe right here. Without vision, with vision a while ago, they were able to see where they are. Huh? CF17 is gonna move forward. Yu doesn't have any mana. He does have the flash Super though, but it's clean. not gonna be used. A lot of CC from J Team. CF17 is stacking the tower, was able to flash away, and that's two kills for J Team. J Team's bot lane, man, I tell you what. Wait. Wait, look at this. Soldier's gonna be ganking. SMK has the rip ball. Oh, it's gonna go super in and flash. SZY is able to survive a bit too advanced for SMK. I know that was super, super, super far of a combo coming from SMK. Didn't get a kill. Out. Yeah, I'm not sure if he missed just because of combining his yeah. left dock into a flash. Oh, X1 might okay. just die. Wawa. Strike one is not gonna be Dutchy. Yeah, as you said, that's a strike. <laughs> but yeah, just going back, right? This bot lane of J Team has been winning games for them. Like X1, X1's uh, aggression is being paired well or, or matched well by his supports. And we all know how DY plays the Gragas, right? At one point, he was on a 10 game win streak, which you will only be able to do if you are very good at the champion. For now, let's take a look at this replay and what happened here. Oh, oh, okay. A flash in by you, also recognizing that he has the opportunity to get a return kill. And although X1 tried his what? best to dodge away from the call of the Forge God, strike it is the edge. for Wawa. Was, yep, he got I, collected. I was, but, you know, at one point he's going to die. <laughs> yeah, anyway. You, yeah. you <laughs> would, would be super close to deal the, the killing blow, so that should be fine. But you look at the tower here in the bot lane OMG. Yeah, sure, they got the oh return my. kill. But the amount of tower plates that J Team was already able to get, and that's because CF17 oh. is here camping and is just boosting his Dragon Laner. I love how smart this is. CF17 helping out X1, because remember, during the mid game, that is when the Tristana struggles the most when he gets the second item. Yep. But what they're doing is accelerating that point in the game so that J so that X1 would have a better time Ooh. destroying these towers. And that is a fast, fast dragon. Did you see that? He used his might to start things off. Yeah. Just so, by the time that uh, they rotate over to the Rift Herald, his might will be available Cold. now. Yeah. Super Mark. crazy from J Team. Yeah, I'm really loving this development from J Team. This is what they need. That's gonna be the call of the Forge God. Not gonna be able to knock them up. Inyan is gonna be the target. They have to push back on him. They still get Boom! the Rift Herald and the bomb explodes. One kill and one Rift Herald. The Rift Herald is going to get summoned here in the mid lane and more priority to be open for J Team. Yeah, they don't have the lightning crash anymore. Soldier! Push coming in from Soldier. He's gonna go in. They're gonna take this tower and nobody's gonna stop them. OMG! X1 even going for the rocket jump in. They got it. Still one more bump from the Rift Herald. Re Last season, we were saying that J Team was super collected when it comes to their playmaking. At one point, we call them boring. But is this yeah. the same J team that we saw it's from not. last year? It's Absolutely not. <laughs> not. They are bonkers right now. They just go in, though do not mind the towers, and will dive you in, kill you under under your own tower. And this is super exciting to watch. I'm starting to become a fan now. <laughs> Dear Dash. <laughs> This is how they got our hearts like last time, last season, yeah. by being very methodical now. But again, J Team is is a different team altogether. <laughs> but they're also capturing the hearts of the fans now, just because Surely. of how they are playing today. Super aggressive. 
And uh, again, the methodical macro approach was still there. It was super evident, right? That just the fact that they were able to get the Infernal Dragon and convert it into another potential dive here in the bot lane. Wait. Yeah, and now they're gonna go we in. Yu is gonna be the target again. They're gonna be taking down the tower. of CF7. He's already getting the kill. Soldier is in front, and that's an Hemo explosive Ling. gas with the Hemo Plague to ah. kill for Soldier. Love it. That's how many times they dove under the tower. Like three, four times now in just one yeah. game. Yeah, SDY is going to be the sacrifice here. Tower in the top side is going to be taken down. He took a lot some of time, time. But that is still a tower in the bot lane. Wow, it's also going to fall here. Boom. One more shot from X1. Rocket jumps away. This is the power of the Tristana, right? Like, he used explosive shot uh, to really take down towers very, very fast. And you look at JT. Oh, they wait. did not even surrender what? the top lane tower. I don't know what DY is thinking right now. I don't think he has enough damage. He's just showing Ooh. away white white cat, right? Like he doesn't like yeah. cats. He's not he's maybe a dog <laughs> person or something. Yeah, maybe. That's why <laughs> that's why he's shooing him away. And <laughs> the problem here is for the side of uh, OMG, yes. They got the tower in the bot lane, two tier towers from the side of J Team. But the problem there, I thought they're gonna trade the tower in the top side, but because yep. DY already recalled, they got them time. This is what we call the macro advantage. Yeah. Every single time that J Team plays, uh, we 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 say that they are the most academic team of all during the regular season, and now they are combining it with aggression. You love to see yeah. that. And I'm really liking this development. Look at this. Yu is going to be targeted again. CF7, he Ooh. has enough damage to get it with SCY. Four people are on top Soldier of Soldier is here. Stasis and Soldier's going to come in. They have one protobolt in. Ha has a lot of damage coming in from this guy. You and play SCY one is still going to be chasing. Okay. Soldier's not stopping. No damage from OMG. We talked about this. That's why they can't fight against JT. Yeah, the early game is really being uh, pretty much owned by JT. And not just by dis their decision making, but overall, their draft is superior at the early stages of the game. 8-2 to two in kill counts and another tower destroyed here by JT. 9 oh, no. minutes and it's already a 7k gold lead dash. JT, oh my god, what a statement by them. Wow, I'm loving this. This is the reason why they only got one twos. But if ever they solidify this playstyle, <laughs> like what they're doing right now for OMG, this uh -huh. is gonna be a good development for J Team so far. They're yep. not gonna stay in that bottom for too long, and Surely. I think this is gonna be the start for it. The soldier is again standing his ground. Another engage, DY. Yeah, Ping Yan is having a problem. Here. He does have the Stormbringer to run away, and he's Wrong gonna way. flash out. He's gonna take a long time. He's gonna take a long walk here. Wrong but I way. think he's gonna be seen. He's taking his time, and I think that's not a good flash because he it's X1. He has a rocket jump. Yeah, again, wrong way, wrong turn, buddy. You know in those racing games. That if you uh, turn the wrong way, there's like a very big there's, sign. There's wrong, a very big wrong sign. Way, yeah. Wrong <laughs> way. Wrong turn. That's what happened there. And J team is just taking everything in the map yeah. of OMG. Even the blue buff is going to get eaten by CF17. What a dominating to start this very long day that we have, Dash. Yeah, and the performance here isn't also because of the fact that J Team is just a better team. It's also because of the draft. OMG is going to be struggling really hard in the early game. Kassadin yeah. and Zeri is not going to have damage. Camille doesn't have damage. And that's why <laughs> it's, it's just so hard for them to kill anybody. True. So now as we continue this game, it's been 10 minutes and 40 seconds of one-sided domination. CF CF17 even wants this red buff. Not gonna get oh. it. Yeah, it's still a gay try. They're already having their space at this side of the jungle on the side of OMG. And OMG is going to struggle to mm -hmm. get any more uh, gold at this point. I'm waiting for the 12-minute mark. And I want to see if J Team is going to go for that Baron after it comes out. Yep, or just wait for the soul. Uh, what map is it? Infernal? Oh, Infernal yeah. Soul! Oh, they're okay. very good. They're very explosive, especially with the Tristana Dragon Laner. That's... Uh, Gotta ah, be lots of explosions. He has the wits end too. Look at what CF17 has built. He has a wits end. He has a mm -hmm. triforce, and it's also because of the fact that there's a lot. Yes, there's a lot of magic damage. Couple that with Zeri's magic damage too. So it's a very smart item to pick off yep. here for the side of J Team. So that's why they de don't have damage against CF17. Yeah, also cheaper compared to the other options, right? Like uh, yeah. also gives attack speed, and uh, you know, Vi with attack speed is also a very good combo. 
Now, J-Team, oh, you They're were saying go this. Yeah, the baby <laughs> Baron. Go. The squishiest oh, Baron of man. all is going to get started here by J-Team unless they're just using it for bait. Wait. Oh, they're going to take some time, though. Soldier is not even going to rotate right now. CF-17 already Your? used the Bolt Breaker. They used the Nature Enchant to be able to get oh, the SCY. kill. Oh, SCY! Oh, SCY! And now they're going to be chasing him down. Look at SMK. He has Can't the flash. He has the rip off. Crown yep. and Shadow Queen was able to get popped. But this might be the time for OMG to turn things around. He's they dead. have one. They're going to be slowing down the members right here of J-Team. And that's because they weren't able to get the Baron. They just got collapsed by OMG. That's the inexperience that we are very cautious about for J-Team, right? SZY getting caught at the wrong side of the map. And uh, that's an instant pickoff huh, for OMG. But make no mistake, J-Team is still in the lead and uh, Soldier did not even surrender the pressure on the top side. Yeah, sure, White Cat will be, will be able to get a tower here in the bot lane. But truth be told, they have to do this for three or four more consecutive times, right? Like, yeah. They're super far behind and they will need to really get uh, SEY. Oh, by the way, that's very smart coming from SMK, just using the dark areas to surprise the Jax. And again, you can't do that. You cannot use the Seize and Desist against the Kassadin because the Kassadin will just bring you along for the right. Yeah, and it, it took him really far away. And with that, they don't re didn't really have a lot of damage going through. So OMG now, the struggle is how are they going to keep contesting this red side part of the map for them? Because wait, X1, I think he made a bit of a mistake there. I thought they're going to go fine, for though. the Baron. <laughs> yeah. hey, that's the, the fake rock jump, right? Like, and again, yeah. the, the, the win condition for J-Team will always be present. Infernal Soul open for the taking in just one more minute. They can slow things down. Yeah, sure. Uh, the gold lead is no longer the 7k it once was. Uh, but mm -hmm. J-Team can just wait for the Infernal Dragon Soul, uh, which will just basically cement this game win for them. Now, o OMG, uh, they can still go for, you know, last hurrah in a desperation yeah. uh, challenge. Uh, but it will be super hard, especially with the amount of lead that J-Team does possess right now. Yeah, it's a fully different game from yesterday's game, right? Remember, uh, for yesterday, Yu Yu has been building up a lot of Quicksilver enchants when he's playing with the Gragas, but here uh -huh. it's back to, to stasis when it comes to DY. Yep. One of the problems here of SCY, that's, re that's the reason why SMK has a advantage against him, is because he doesn't have any magic resist. Now, Ocean Drake is going to be taken. Yeah, Ocean Drake, uh, and again, this is in preparation for the Inferno Soul SZY! Yeah. That's the reason. He doesn't have any magic resist. Yu is gonna deal massive amount of damage against him. And that's Ocean Drake gonna try to be taken by OMG. SMK trying to go for a position for a potential assassination to the backline of J Team. Yeah, they have the explosive cast now. Horn of the Lord's God is gonna Soldier. be used. Was able to knock up X1, but on the back line, there's already a fight. Soldier Boom. has fallen, but that is gonna be a kill on SMK. OMG is now stuck in front. They're gonna go in. X1 is not gonna be enough. They stole it. They got the Ocean Drake against the members of J Team, but they still don't Wait. have any damage. Look at that. Wait, game is X1 is dealing so much damage against the members right now, but when it comes to the tanks, it's gonna be a problem. But against you, yes, it's okay. That's a lot of members down for J Team. OMG can posture down towards the Baron. But I don't think they have enough health bars and they will be respecting X1 right now. Again, the turn of tides. Wow. <laughs> OMG wow. was able to stop the soul from getting consumed by J Team. SMK has been the biggest reason why. Well, couple of the, you know, SZY's decision making as well. Like, that's twice in a row that he got caught out of position. But make no mistake, SMK has been uh, that lone bastion of hope for OMG. Yeah. He's, uh, he's making sure that OMG will not go down without a fight. Yeah, and now because SMK is already level 13, it would be easier for him to do that. The rip off and the damage from this guy has been really, really good. What they can do now is try to get a pickup against anybody. And yeah. because they don't have any vision on the red side of the map, they won't be able to start this Baron. And then all of a sudden now, Dash, the lead that, won, <laughs> that was 7k at max yeah. is now just... A measly 1.1k. SMK also is already at level 13, so this Cassidy is just going to shut down all your squishy backlines. X1 is not 
falling victim as of that as of yet, but Soldier yeah. is falling victim to the cast then. Yeah, and the snowball effect that they could have done during the early stages of the game could have been uh, done a lot more better because mm -hmm. J Team had that big advantage, and because they were struggling on decision making that they might the Baron might get st stolen by OMG. That's the reason why right now OMG has Mawa is gonna be knocked up with explosive gas. That's gonna be a dead tank, tank, and exactly what they needed. Exactly, this is uh, the things that uh, they will be able to again regain their confidence uh, going for a potential Baron takedown here. On the top side, though, SZY is just being Ooh. played by White Cat to the T yeah. and is really struggling right now. Yeah, and so far, White Cat has been doing so well for the team here. I do hope to see that they might be able to take the Baron right now. Everybody's gonna go at the elder? top side of the map. There's a big Elder chance here for the side of JT. Yeah, no vision available, but OMG kind of sensed it that JT will try their luck against the other Dragon. Vibe. Yeah, the 17 is gonna be used already by the side of OMG. They have vision and where they are. So right now the problem is how are they gonna start the Teleport. fight? That's gonna be the crown of the Shadow Queen. 1v1 on the bot side. They're already fighting back, but here you go. White Cat is gonna be the target on the other side. Order of the Forge Gods wouldn't be able to get any knockups against them. And this is when SZY is gonna shine that counter strike. No damage from OMG. Yeah, X1 still. Full health and soldier is always being isolated by SMK. Whenever yeah. SMK sees the Vladimir, he jumps in. Yeah, and that's why Soldier doesn't have the hero plague anymore. It's gonna be hard for them to get into the back line. SMK has a chance here to execute somebody, but he doesn't have vision on oh, where the he's members of the team are. He's getting stacks, and you want that. Okay, knock up X1. Right now, going for a fight back, but here on the back line, though, SZY is isolated right here, but Soldier's already in front. Members right here, either Verge or OMG is gonna have a ball oh, here because Soldier already trying to destroy everyone right now. White Cat is on the 1v1, the Precision Protocol almost got the kill on him, but SMK is still a chance for a no red block. X1 no is gonna be rocket jumping no away. No stacks for him and no mana for him, and J Team is gonna be finishing this game. The critical point in your account. Cassidy needs the most mana for another Rift Walk. J Team ends up winning another team fight and ends up winning game one. Uh, that is the only problem here. When this game started, when the fight started, it was J Team converged on each other. It was because of that. That's why they were able to win the fight. Yes, SMK almost.